Hi everyone! Hello. Welcome back. We have another video on one that video. we are so excited to talk about, especially the spoiler because I had to be like Ugh, this la on our non-spoiler. So it was hard. really, really hard because I just wanted to like say stuff and we couldn't. This time, normally I'm okay with it, and she's the one that's like, "No, you do more of the talking in the non-spoiler because I like to give it away." I felt like I was like. Ugh. Yeah, like and wanting to say stuff. I, I felt like I was horrible. Bit, I did a little bit more talking in. <laughs> well, I was like, oh, I can't, I really don't have yeah. to say because I, I want to say this. So anyway, I'm glad we can finally get to the, this. Is our these are our favorite. We could talk more about it and tell you yeah. the story. But I wanted to say, if you guys like what we're doing, if you guys want to hear more from us, go ahead and hit the subscribe subscribe button. We would love that, and hit the little bell so we can tell you what or will tell you when a new video comes out. Yes. But now onto such a darn cute duology. I am telling you. Gosh. Five star. Actually, 10 out of five. I, I, I would go above five. Two. I think, oh my gosh. I loved like, it. You know what? I think this is for all ages. I mean, it is technically a teen book, which very suitable for teen, like totally a great book. I think if I was a teen reading this, I would have just loved, loved, loved it. But guess what? I'm an adult. Love, 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 love it. Like, I, it's for everyone. She really captures every age of like an audience in this book. Like, like she said, young, old. It, she uh, really knows how to. Adrian Young knows how to do it. I didn't so. feel like I felt like it was young or anything. No. I feel like it was just and wonderful. That might not have been what she was gearing towards. It's just how she wrote it. It's just, just such a great so story. And look at this. Gorgeous namesake is that girl the prettiest. This and is probably one of my. We, this is probably my favorite cover I've ever. Yeah, we are like total. We geek out over weird things, but look at this. Come on, and thank you, Reese, for here. You hold that one for making Fable known because oh my gosh, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Loved it. I yeah. am so obsessed with. And it kind of goes to the back, like you see her hair, yes. like it's all around the cover and the jewels on the side. Yes. I love like the that. It's just oh, I cannot say enough about that. And uh gosh, Reese, I thank you because I that's how I found Fable. I I don't think I ever really noticed it in the in when we were looking the YA fantasy section. I don't think mm. I saw it. It was down Which to the bottom. Which surprises me because yeah. I I've said you know covers really get me. So I'm surprised I didn't see it, but I'm so glad we picked this one up. And we came off of a book that was difficult. We said this in our last video, too. Yeah. And it was just a harder read. It was slower for us. We struggled to get through it. Like, I power read it, but I know she slowed down a little bit because she was like, I'm having a hard time. Yeah, it, it, you know, and there's kind of, it bums you out when you're excited to read something that happens. But then to pick this up, Such boom, fresh, right from, like, the hair. beginning, like, it starts off, we said, it, exactly. Yes, this. right, like a couple days, I think, of anything. A couple if, days right, right after Fable, we are going right into it, and the adventure begins. It is just so, and I guess I say this a lot, fun. It was, I loved it. It was. It was. Just, <laughs> it was fun. Lighthearted, fun. You still have your, you know, the sneaky business going on, the liars, the, like, you know, I just love these pirate Survivors. stories. I need more pirate stories. If you guys yeah. have any, let me know because this was, I loved it. Like loved it. Pick it up. Yes. Go and read both of these. Um, it's a great duology. Yeah. And I think if, I don't, if we have a lot of books to read, but I could see this being one of my top for the year, these two. So I one know. of my top forever. Like mm -hmm. I absolutely adored it. I, 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 I'll never hate it. I <laughs> this, will, oh, this will always be on my bookshelf. So anybody that comes over and wants to borrow books, this will always be there. So. I don't know if I would let you borrow this book because I liked it so much. I don't trust Yeah, it. I'm afraid. Like, my Emperor of the is still my, missing. My books. Um, my cousin still has them. I don't know if she's read it's them. It's not missing. It's just not in it's her hands. It's from my bookshelf. So, um, yeah, hopefully. Uh, yes. Hopefully. Oh, but gosh. Anyways, yeah, this story picks up right away. Right after. So it's literally action-packed the whole book. And it's, you know, cause we said, if you watched our recap of Fable, which if you haven't read Fable, go read Fable first. Or if you need a reminder, watch our recap. Um, we like to do them just, you know, these spoilers because sometimes people, I know people that don't really like to read, to read the whole thing. I have a lot of friends or that just, watch, that just like videos. to watch the videos and <laughs> yeah. find out what's happened. If there are movies coming out or whatever happens. Plus I need a reminder a lot of times if it's been a while and Anyways, 
thank God this uh, Fable just was out in October. It's a newer book in itself. She must write, this we were talking about, she must write she probably her finished books back both to of back them. and then she releases one at a time because this one just came out in October. It did. And you know what? Honestly, she probably really could have had it one bigger book, honestly, because it fits so well together. But I kind of liked like having it separate too because it kind of, you know, one thing that we said is in Fable, I felt like it was a growth of, there was a lot of unresolved things with Saint and mm -hmm. Fable. And, you know, you're just like, how could a, a father do that? This and that. Or like, you know, even though deep down, I always felt like there was more, like it wasn't as, you know, black and white as, you know, it was trying to say, like, I knew there's probably more to it from Saint. Yeah. But we were really developing Fable as a person and her growing, getting off of Javal and like meeting the, uh, the crew on the Marigold and West and Willa. Yeah. And it was kind of a growth of a little tiny, of a love story between uh, Fable and West, which you really like. This book, yes, there is, there is a uh, Fable and West and their love, but I felt like this was really a love story between Fable and Saint. Father and daughter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This Listen, I'm not a crier. I didn't no. like want to cry, but I was like, oh, it's oh. just, that's what we were talking about in the non-spoiler. This kind of love story. Yeah. There's a love story about it with West and yes, Fable. And it ends great with that yeah, too. But this love story between her and her father, it's just, that's what made it was me so touching. adore and this book. I, I, yeah, it was just. I know. I felt myself like excited to see what was going to happen with Saints. Uh, yeah. I wanted Fable. to see that. Yeah. As much, I mean, you know, normally, like we've said, we like a good romance and stuff. Yeah. And it's not that I did. I liked the whole West and yes. Fable thing that not seeing that, but I found myself like, oh, I just want to see what's going to happen with Fable and Saints. Like, I just want to like, she really wrote this pulling your heartstrings. Like I, that relationship, even Willa and Wes's relationship, she wrote both of those and their brother and sister. And you're finding hints of Willa and Koi. Yeah, like, Koi it comes was just back like one. one of those things. It was just, it's a, it was like a love on a, it was a, like a multiple love, like multiple loves. Like it was not just, not just a love story between a man yes. and a woman. It was a, a family love story. And it was oh, just beautiful. Yeah. It was, and like I found myself smiling so much. Like I was always like, oh, oh I love that. I would be like reading in bed at night, just smiling. Or like I, I said this in the last video, my daughter the one day is like, is there something funny? And yes. I was smiling and I was like, well, yeah. I mean, like, I'm not gonna say like I'm just smiling because I'm happy. I was just I was. I was smiling because I was happy. I thought it was yeah. I was like, oh I reread one of the chapters that we'll get to. I reread it at the it was closer to the end, like two times because I was like, oh, mm. I loved it. Just Oh, so good, guys. Grabbed I'm, your heartstrings, especially with her dad. I loved it. Yeah. It was so good. Because he's such a hard guy. He's such a I hard guy. I knew there was something more than guy. he was letting on to. And he doesn't let anybody in, but this is his daughter. And, you know, just that whole thing, that whole going around in circles with those two. Oh, and at the end, it comes yeah. together. It, yeah, it did. It really did. It was good. And, you know, we start, you know, we ended off on Fable that she gets taken by Zola mm -hmm. and she sees Clove. She yeah, looks around on, she looks around on this ship and she you know doesn't see anyone she knows until she meets she she, blah, 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 blah. she sees one person <laughs> excuse me sometimes I can't talk and it was Clove. Yeah. And then she is like what the heck is he doing here? And he's like her other father. Her other father. Yeah. Growing like he, up. yes. And we, in Fable, we think he's dead because, you know, Fable asked Saint about never him. said he no, was dead. No, but it's kind of, in my but mind, I thought. But Saint just kind of he's alluded gone. to he's gone. And I think Fable took that as he's dead. Mm -hmm. So it was never said dead, but he said he's gone. And I think to Fable and to a lot of other people, that's kind of like, yeah, she said, thinking, oh, he's dead. Oh, he's gone. This was my dad's right hand man. This guy did everything for my dad would never betray him. And loved her mother. So he has to have died. Yeah. These last, what sometime with, within this la these last four years. And really, so when she's on this, when Zola took her and she's on this ship and she sees Clove, she's, she's, she's mad. Yeah. She's oh, like, she was, she, what, what did, what, first of all, what did you do for my father to get rid of you? 
what it, you know, or, you know, you obviously betrayed him or you made him pretty mad. That was really what was in her thoughts. And like, it's funny because there's like almost a love hate between Fable and Saint too, because she loves him more than anything. And you see that in the first book, but she doesn't understand like why she was left. And she felt like what was rightfully hers was to, you know, be a crew member. And it wasn't just Saint that left her. It was Clove that left her on the island as well. So this is all coming back to her and she sees him on this deck and she's just like, she's not very nice. What to are him you doing with Zola? Yeah, you really. know, my mother got away from Zola to go to my father. Obviously he's not a good guy. He wrecked our sails on the Marigold and you know, he kidnapped me basically. And yeah, she couldn't believe that she saw him on the boat working. Yeah. And she, she gave him a hard time. It oh. wasn't like she was like, Oh, Hey, Clove. And he didn't, What's going he on? didn't look you. at her. He didn't look her in the eye at first, right? Yeah, like, he, was, at first, he was very stoic with her as yeah. well. And, very... and she's like looking at him like, look at me. Look at me, you know, and he... Yeah. He's like, I'm not yeah. looking at her. Yeah. It was... Yeah, it set up really good for yeah. that. And, and so basically, Zola takes Fable because he needs her. And I mean, also, come on, to make people mad. Like, it's Zola. Like, you know, it's also to like get under the skin of Saint probably... Well... Not so much Saint because he didn't know. No, he did know. Now that I think about it, he knew that Saint oh, yeah, was he her knew. father. I almost forgot that. Yeah. But yeah, to get under That's him as her. well as um, West. Yeah. And, you know, plus we rem it told us that Isold dredged for Zola as well. And Zola tells, you know, Fable doesn't realize that Zola knows because you know you have to live by the rules and you don't tell like who's your parents you know because they could always come and bite you in the butt mm -hmm. and Zola basically was like do you not think I know who you are like you look just like her meaning he's old and it kind of comes out that Zola and he's old like he must have wanted more with he's old yeah because um we find out that he is the one that took her uh from Barristan isn't that what it is uh, says so yeah. the town. So that's how it I said got, Bastane. Or Bastane. He um, helped her. He helped her get out of Bastane, away from Holland, who is we find out is Isolde's mother, which is Fable's grandmother. Yes. And yeah. So, but like going back to the, you know, when she first is on the Luna, which is Zola's boat, our ship. Uh, you know, she sees Clove. The crew wants nothing to do with her, obviously. I mean, we kind of It's figured. typical. Like, yeah. she's kind of starting over how she did on the marriage. Yeah, as and well. she has yeah. to. And, you know, she goes and talks to Zola, and he's like, no, I'll let you go back to the Narrows if you help me with something. I need you to do I something you first. Help. He goes, no one will touch you. No one will hurt you at all. He goes, have it under my orders. he gave her back her, her um, dagger. Mm -hmm. He gave her back the necklace with the ring on it, with, with um, West's mm -hmm. mother's ring. Um, because that's what she went back for in the end of Fable. And then that's how they caught her. And he had it on like a necklace. That yeah. He gave so it to her. he gave that all back to her. And he says, I'll let you go back if you help me with this one thing. Um, so yeah. Well, and it's one thing. But let's face it. All these one things turn into. It, it's one thing. But with multiple different things to get to that one thing. Yeah. And she and she finally was like, fine. I'll do it. I just want to get off of here as soon as possible. But he doesn't tell her right away what she's going to have to do. And so she has to start working on the ship and they're dredging and she has to go down and, and, um, they, what? Koi. That's what I was just going to okay. get to too. They, before they leave, um, was it Clove that went and got Koi? Who did it? No, no, remember. no. So they go to Javal. and she's like, why are we back at Javal? Oh God, you know, like Koi's going to see me and blah, blah, blah. Well, he was going to get more dredgers. Yes. And Koi is one of the best that she, yes. Fable has said that she's seen. Like, she said that, like, he's good. As much as we don't get along, he's good. Yeah. And he knows, so, he knows what he's doing. You know, the, he's last, one of the, best. the last time she saw Koi, he was trying to kill, kill her. her. Yeah, she escaped. That's how she got him to the Marigold. Marigold. Yeah. So she's looking like, oh no, like we can't get let Koi on our on the ship. Like he's gonna kill me, you know? She has to like keep an eye. Yeah. On so him. she doesn't know. And all of a sudden he clove. Um they look at all these dredgers and there's a pick, few of them that they brought they pick on. Which but dredgers Koi they was want. in there. Koi was one of them. So now he is on the Luna with Fable. And then then Zola says that 
uh, Fable's going to run this and she's in charge of it. And she's like, okay, she's fine with that. But she makes sure Koi's on yeah. her team so she can keep an eye she's on like, it. I'm not going to let Koi out of my sight. He's going to kill me. <laughs> she's so, like, I'm not even going to yeah. even put him with someone else. I need him right where I can see him. Well, and two, like in the beginning, um, you know, Koi, I was kind of thinking like, is there something with Koi? You know, I did too. And That's funny her, you said like, that. Like, it's going to be a love triangle, which I love. Yeah, I love. Like, I, okay. You know, I really didn't think it would go far. No. But I was, but, like, kind of thinking the same thing. Like, is Koi kind of crushing Fable? I didn't think and she, she was. She, he is handsome. She did. She said that. But I didn't feel like she was so into him but yeah I felt like I felt that way too it was funny I was like is this gonna go somewhere but that I not? didn't know if maybe because yeah I was like I think Wes will be the end game but I didn't know if maybe they were gonna start this this yeah I, I I was thrown by that too a little bit yeah. not thrown but I kind of felt the same way like oh is there gonna be something more than we realized yeah. with uh Fable and Koi but yeah and anyways it, it doesn't get to that point like we thought it was going to like it was I think it was just more an understanding and a friendship that was starting to develop with them having to work together. Yeah. And they were dredging and, and the they're whole, the best. They do a lot. Yeah. And she understands. She even says, I understand Koi's position in wanting to do this. I have always respected his decision because he takes care of his family. That's the only way. And she says, I respect to get, he has to do what he has to do. And so, just like all of them do, yeah, like it's a so, pirate's way of life. And, and like, that's why they murder. That's why they steal. That's why they do what they have to do. And, you know, that's kind of where their tension came from too. Like she had to do what she had to do. He had to do what he had to do. And I think that was always their like issue, yeah. you know, so, but they yeah. respect each other too. He knows, he knows that how good she is. Oh yeah. She knows how good he is. Yeah. And he knows, you know, he knows he, she pulled him. Remember in the beginning of Fable when he was trying to get her, her gems that she was dredging for and she, she hit him with her elbow or her foot. I can't remember which one. And he fell into the water. She saved him by taking yeah, him out of the water. Yeah, she didn't want to hurt him. Yeah. So he knows and he remembers that. So yeah, so we go and she's, they, uh, Zola wants her to lead this dredging mm -hmm. operation. He's, he wants to get as much of these jewels as possible. And they kept saying her. I want to impress yes. her. And I'm like, who's, who's her? her? I'm like, is his old really dead? Yeah. She I was that. like, because I told her, I said, they just keep referencing her. And so I, th I yeah, I was, I didn't know for sure. But I was like, I wonder if like, is he old not dead? And like somehow he, I don't know. Yeah. I was, I was like, hmm, that would be interesting to so, see who her yeah. is. And her and Koi kind of, she leads the operation of dredging, but he's so good. She knows that they he, actually work really well together. Yes. And he is just as good as she is. So, yeah. but they keep an eye on each other. They're definitely not necessarily trusting yeah, of each other. No. And then who's the character? Um, he works for Zola. It starts with an, uh, her, uh, are right Ryland or something oh, like that? Oh, Ryland. 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 That's right, yeah. He works for Zola. Ryland and Wick are the dredgers, the original dredgers yes. on the Luna with Zola. And they're not happy. They're not happy that Fable is coming in and taking over. Fable and Koi. That yes. they're better. That dredgers. all of a sudden they're like, you're in charge, you're heading this, you're going to, you know, lead this and da 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 da. So he has a, he he's spiteful and he has his eye on Fable and Fable knows. She knows, like, and because even Koi said, you better keep an eye out on that one. And she was, I am, like, don't worry. My eyes are on him. And there is one time they're dredging and uh, she had to tie herself off. Um, I think she was getting really tired. Um, she could she tell, like, she always has her signs when she really should go back up for breath. And she felt it was coming. So she tied herself because she was, like, close to this little area and she wanted to work a little bit longer. And uh, sure enough, Ryland comes down. Starts chucking her. Yes. And she's like, and she's already almost out of breath. Then this starts happening. And all of a sudden, he kind of lets her go. And he sees something. That's what it was. Her yeah. Go. And he just like takes off and she just pushes up as fast as she can because she's already knows, forgetting that she was tied. And, you know, it, she's like kind of goes and just like slings back down almost in a way. And she's feeling like everything, the light going out in her basically. And all of a sudden she's cut free. 
and come to find out it was Koi. But Koi's not admitting it because no. this is also something that you don't, you just don't tell these things and you don't want to owe anyone. You don't want to like, have well, yeah. people, you want to be respected for what you do, not have someone like, okay, you saved me. I owe you a debt. They don't want that. They just want to like go on. And so when she went up to him and says, why'd you do it? He never, he he's said, like, I didn't. I don't know what yeah. you're talking about. Yeah. He's like, I didn't do it. I didn't, you know, he goes. What did he say that? Yeah, he he basically he said, said he didn't do it. Like, yeah, he's some like, kind of probably smart ass thing yeah. like or whatever. But yeah, he's like, I didn't do it, and she's like, fine, he didn't do it, but he he did. He's he saved her, and I I was wondering like, do you think it's because she saved him or because they were developing a well, they, probably, said, they respected each other. He always. said it's because you're Javali. I think that's the name. That's, and that's kind of yeah, like. Yeah, that's true. He did say that. Like, yeah, like, you're Javali. Where, you're from Javal, basically. And she's like, I'm not from Javal. Like, I'm not goes, from there. If goes, you've lived there that long and to survive, you're Javali. Yeah, so he basically said, like, and if anybody's going to kill you, it's going to be me. Yeah. <laughs> so he was like, I'm not going to let anyone else He's like, especially like you almost killed me. So yeah. I'm, yeah, it's going to be me that's going to take that revenge and stuff. So, but yeah, it was like, he did end up saving her. And then Clove is like, what happened and she's like i'm not stitching i'm not gonna say a word well i think chloe figures that out because the one night she they're in their hammocks sleeping it's pitch dark yes and chloe comes in and she's also like nervous like oh, no because at this time she's like i don't trust, trust chloe and you know and he's walking slowly and she's like oh just pretend i'm asleep but she's keeping an eye on what's going on and chloe ends up killing ryland and right above her right above her bed he because because rylan is r sleeping right there above and so she feels blood yeah well she feels something hot or Gross. warm and then she discovers it's blood and clove can you oh. imagine like oh yeah quietly killed him slung him over his shoulder and walked Just out walked out like nothing happened and that's when she realized okay Chloe is not, there's something going on with Chloe. And it's not what I thought it was. And she saw Koi saw it. Yes. So. And she, yeah, when she says she looks over and Koi was watching her. So that's when the whole thing of like, okay, yeah. there's something with Chloe. It's not what I thought. I guess he's not, you know, hasn't betrayed my father like I thought. And that's she, when she goes, oh, my father has some scheme going on. Yes, right she now. knew. She's like, yeah. okay, there's something going on here. And sure enough, they get off the 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 boat the one day, and she's with oh, yeah. she's with Clove, and he they basically it was cute. They go like, into like a little alleyway where no one's there, and she hugs him, and she almost cries. She's like, like she said, oh. she like he like got he like was, he was like, like oh, stiff. Okay. Like what do and I then, do? And she she just held him tighter and just started crying. And he comforted her. And he did, yeah. And he, she says, does my father know where I'm at? And he goes, your father knows exactly where he goes, you your are. father always knows where you're at. Yeah. He knows exactly. Yeah. So she knew that. Okay. And then she was like, well, what is he doing? But he would never tell her. He's like, you'll find out. You'll find out soon. Like he so can't say like, anything. Oh, he has a scheme going on. But yeah, no, he knew exactly where Fable was. He knew exactly what was happening. This was all a part of the plan. And I think that shocked her. First of all, she got clothed back in her life. And then to find out like. Okay, shocked or not that she's shocked that Saint would do it, but shocked that her father did care more for her than I think she, I mean, I think she knew that he cared for her, but I think it realized, she realized, okay, there's more to my dad. Like he is. Yeah. And Clove, more. didn't he say at this time, like your Azold's he, name is not the only name yes. that you can't say. And I thought that was so cute too. Like, cause she said, well, he doesn't care. He goes, he do you think really he's old? He's old's the only name we can't say on the boat. Yeah. Which like, is like, he's mm -hmm. like, don't mention them. They're the, you know, I don't, they're the love yeah, of my life. She's not the only name. You're not going to mention Your them name to is me. not able to be mentioned since. So she always labor. says, like, she always gets that hitch in her throat or that, you know, lump yeah, in her throat. Near. Like she wants to cry. And so, yeah, that was, that it was, was really... a cute little scene. And, um, anyways, they do their, they get what they need to there. And is that when they were be buying her dresses? I think it was. Think like, they so, come put her yeah. in. Like, you know, she's always in her pants and, like, yeah. a She's like, a what shirt. is this? She's never wearing she's corset like... <laughs> for him. And Clove is, like, she's laughing. laughing. Yeah. Like, it's but so he, they're cool. still playing along with Zola at this point. So, you know. And now she knows. She doesn't know what's going on. But she knows, okay, Clove. He's working for my father, yes. really. But he's using Zola. So she's kind of a little more comfortable. She knows something. like, But she doesn't know what. So she's just kind of along for the ride. 
and she just wants to get honestly back to the narrows. She wants to get back to the marigold. And so she's like, okay, we'll do what we have to do. So they go to the island of Bistan. Bista Bista I said Bistain, I think. I Bistan. said Bistan. <laughs> we always have difference of how we say stuff. Um, and she meets Holland, who is, she, Holland's having this like ball or something. And like, Holland is the her that we heard about. In, Nadi's old. Her. No, Holland is the her that we hold about, heard about from, from Zola. Like she, her, you know. And so. and Holland looks like her mother. Just With silver, silver hair. hair. She's old. And we find out that's her grandma. And that was interesting because I was thinking grandma was going to like, she wanted Fable to stay and to run things for her. But she was really doing it for herself. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, she, you know, you could tell that Holland has never um, accepted Isolde's death and that she ran away and left. And Fable kept saying, there must be a reason my mom left. Like, and, you know, Fable was, I think, a little hurt that she never heard about Holland and, you know, a lot more about her mom's life. Like, she never told me this stuff because she felt she was always very close to her mother. So I think she was a little hurt. But I think... I think she wouldn't have believed it if... If yeah. she didn't see the, her mother's picture portrait on the wall, first of all, and that she looks just like mm -hmm. them, like herself, you know, her grandma, she looks like her grandma. Her mom looks like her grandma. Like, yeah. They definitely take after Isolde's family. And, um, we come to find out that, that, um, I can't remember Holland's husband's name, grandpa. I can't remember his name. He's not really talked not about very. often in there, but, uh, she sees a picture of him. And it comes out that Isolde was very close to her father. Very, very close. She's and like her there's father. There's probably yeah. a jealousy with Holland. Because like, she said, I never understood Isolde. I never got it. I never got what she wanted in her personality. But she loved her. I mean, yeah. uh, Fable walks in and sees her staring at her picture almost emotionally. Like she was looking at it. So you know she loves her, but she's she's still very, like, kind of cruel and mm -hmm. very, like, Oh, she's a very cruel woman. I didn't trust her from the get Yeah, I didn't either. I was like, oh, no. But, no, no. Yeah, but I guess I was thinking that she was going to, I wouldn't, didn't trust her either, but she wanted, Is, uh, not Isold, uh, Fable a little more because that was her granddaughter, and she wanted, you know, to her to do stuff for her, but it was really just for herself. Oh, yeah. I mean, she did, you know, probably want well, her yeah, granddaughter I mean, to do it. To but... out, so the whole reason why Zola took her took her in the first place was because he wanted to make amends for taking Isolde from grandma, from Holland. Basically, he's the one that helped him Isolde his escape. Good grace and yeah. Holland's good graces. And you kind of feel for Zola in that. He's like, your mother screwed me over. You know, like I helped her and then, you know, she leaves me high and dry. He lost his license in, in the unnamed sea. Yes. And he, he wants to go. He wants to be more power, powerful uh, than yeah. Saint. And, and he's thinking Holland is, is his ticket. I'm going to, I'm going to give her, her granddaughter. Which, so that just tells you she was never, it was never going to be a, you can go back to the Narrows with Zola. No. And yeah, I'll give you your granddaughter and this will help me move up. And then they'll like go and take care of Saint. I think that was in Zola's head the whole time. This is my ticket. Oh yeah, to... she wasn't going anywhere. Um, yeah, it was never going to happen at all. So he was just playing Fable along so she would do it. And mm -hmm. Holland was playing Zola. She got her granddaughter there. And she got the man that took her daughter away. Even though he was helping her daughter for what her daughter wanted. But, but this grandma man, didn't see it how way. grandma sees it is this man took my child, so you deserve to die. And she basically ends up killing Zola. I was kind of like, whoa. I yeah, I thought, I, thought, Zola would I, thought of, I thought Zola was going to die, but I didn't think it would be that soon. Yeah, I thought maybe like he'd be captive. And, yeah, I thought there was going to be I a lot more maybe, with Zola and Saint. Yeah, I and, thought maybe and, like yeah. we would kind of, not really redemption for Zola, because we kind of like, okay, he's just has a bad name because he helped his old escape. Um, but yeah, no. Yeah, um, I was I was shocked that he died that quick. I was like, oh, I didn't Fable see, I didn't like, see oh that God. coming. And West shows up at this party. Oh, so yeah. West is following. So we find out that West is going from like um, basically little cities port to city, to port. port to port, setting fire to these ships, trying to search for Fable. 
and they're Zola ships. And he's like, no, I'm they're not. The shadow ships. Mm -hmm. Zola's shadow ships and Saint, or not Saint, West is like, burn, burn, mm -hmm. burn. He's like, you take my girl, burn, yeah. burn, 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 burn. And Zola knows. And I don't think he likes it, but he's and like, I'm on my mission. Another thing is Zola, even before they got to Holland, he even said, you don't know West. He goes, that mm -hmm. that guy has killed so many people, he can paint the Marigold red. And so, Saint also hinted at that in the end of Fable. So Fable in her head, you know, when she sees Wes, she's relieved. She's like, oh, Wes. But then she also, in the back of her mind, she's hearing what Zola and Saint, you know, It makes her saying. question. And then when she heard he's more. setting fire, like she overheard Clove and, and Zola talking on the, on the Luna. Um... Because at first she thought it was Saint that was setting fire to all the ships, but it was really West who was setting yeah. fire. So it kind of, too, that made it go like, oh, my, like, what is he doing? Like, I don't want him to. And I don't, and I think she never mentioned, like, it would be a stop to what they had. No. But she was like, there's something that I'm not liking. Because they promised each other at the end of Fable they, they would, would tell be each other honest the truth. With each other. They like, wouldn't He's lie. He's already lied to me, and I mm -hmm. haven't even seen him again. So, yeah. But we come to find out the reason it was, and Willa kind of tells this to Fable, that, you know, he was coming out, like, yes, there was more to, to West than we ever realized. Because West was basically, we find, um, Saint's right-hand man. Like, and he had to, if Saint said, you go kill that person, he had to go kill yeah, that person. Yeah, West was the guy to do it. That's why everyone was so afraid of Saint. And I think Fable realized how Saint also got so powerful was through West. And because West was not afraid to do what he needed to do to to provide for his own family. And so... And no one could ever hold anything against Saint because Saint was never there. It was mm -hmm. always West. And people feared West. And I mean, and plus West is not... It's like, it took a while for her to break down West, West's um, very hard exterior. He was always so serious and always... <laughs> And she did. And Willa said the moment that uh, Fable ended up disappearing, that he was going back into his own self. And it was just like he didn't care. And he was painting the town red with blood and setting fire to things until he found Fable. And he does. And he, he must have got wind that they were going to Bastain. And he's Holland there. She's there. like, like yeah. he grabs she fills her a hand, hand and, and it, she, looks, she turns and it's Wes. And she's like, what are you doing here? And she was excited and, and yeah. uh, but also like nervous yeah. and excited, but, but also felt like the comfort in home, you know? And he's like, we're leaving and come to find out that Holland has a little plan of her own, that it's not so simple to leave. She, she wants Fable. Like she wants, she wants to, Fable to run her cause she, she, she wants to be queen of the seas. Basically. Yeah, like, you know, Saint is basically king of the sea right now. And um, Holland is just very wealthy. And she does have power in the sea of trading and stuff, but she doesn't She's, have a license. Yes, they won't give her a license. No. And plus, if she becomes licensed, she'll basically take over the whole sea. So she said, you know, to Fable, I want you to do this for me. I want you to be my head of the trading operation. Like she's like, Holland's like, I'll stay here and you go and you do everything. Like she's basically putting her, giving in her, her own ship position. And... Yes. And Oh, and come to find out after she killed Zola, she sunk the Luna. And um, all of them had to go and find, find jobs things. and stuff. Again. So that whole crew is done. And she's like, Oh, Koi, you know, like, where's he at? Um, but yeah, so. And another side note is Holland didn't know that she had a granddaughter till very recently. I can't remember if it was like a year ago or two years ago. And she never, she heard it, but didn't believe it. Well, Zola said, I have, I have your granddaughter. And she said, I heard it. I didn't believe it until I saw you. And I saw Isolde. Because she even said, when she first spots Fable, she says, Isolde? Like, that's how close Fable looks to her mother and grandma. And, um, so then she knew, okay, this is my grandchild. She doesn't know who the father is. She doesn't know anything about that. And come to find out during these no negotiations of Fable, I want you to run this ship and I want you to do this, blah, blah, blah. Um, she's basically saying as well, and then we're going to be taking care of Saint. And Fable's and, like, what? Yeah, Fable's like, you know, and she doesn't want to 
you have to she doesn't want you to have to like too much. not give too much yeah, away in this world want to you have to be very much stoic of a reaction but she's like sitting there she says her heart starts beating she's like say no like, and how many times have we heard the moment you show emotion they know where to attack you and she can't give away that saint's her father and she's like like why and she said because she he did as well as what Your Zola mother did. died on mm -hmm. the lark. He which had is his old ship. and she died in his care. So she's like, I want to get rid of him. So and she wants to be the top traitor. So she's like, yeah. I'm killing two birds with one stone on this. Because so. Saint's that and Zola was slowly getting powerful too, so that one was taken care of. Saint is currently the best of the best. In the ocean. Yeah. She said Zola and Saint. On the sea. Holland said Zola and Saint are my competition. And she got rid of one. She got rid of Zola. Now she's going after Saint. And then, because Saint basically had, she feels in his care, her daughter's death, that he also, like she said, she killed two birds with one stone. We're going to take away his power. Yeah. As well as you are responsible for my daughter's death. And taking her away, basically. Yeah. When really Isolde left. But anyway, so Fable, they, they kind of leave. And Fable ends up going back later that night and making a deal with Holland. Holland And saying, I will find, because her mother, when her mother left, we find out she stole a such a rare stone called the Midnight. No one's ever seen it. No. And Isolde found it. And Holland doesn't know where she found it she doesn't know how but they had this stone and it was the day that easel left the the midnight was taken and at first i know fable gets a little defensive like are you saying my mom's a, like a, she doesn't steal she's, she's a thief yeah like she's, she's not like, a how thief. dare you and she's and, like yeah well, one's like yeah she stole it she took it and we come to find out like through the slowly that easel wasn't perfect she did steal she did do things that were i mean come on they're all pirates they all do that i'd say but um so we kind of find out this stuff that you know she, her mom really was normal and good but yeah she did have her own little things that she did that wasn't right and anyway so fable goes down and meets with holland and says i because she's a gem sage mm -hmm. like her mother and that's when holland finds out like oh you do have that ability and that came from we find out Isolde's father that they could do it and she's like if my mother could find them and i i can too and i want to make a deal which when you make deals you better, know, on you this, better hold yeah. up that deal. <laughs> like, you better do it. Yeah, it, it's a big deal. And she said, I just want my father, you to leave Saint alone. No, she didn't say my father, excuse me. I just want you to leave Saint alone. She's like, leave Saint alone. And, and you then can that, see Holland's like, Holland then is like, I think there, she said, I think there was more to this relationship with uh, Saint and he's old. She knew right there. But I don't think she knew if that was her father and yet. He, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I think she's figuring it out though at that point. But, she even told Clove, I got in, you know, when this all happened, she said, Clove, you brought me Zola. I want you to go get Saint. And you can see, she, she's Fable like, I'll double your Clove. coin. Yeah. I'll double your coin. And Fable Clove's looked like, at Clove and he, he, she says he never gave anything away. He's like, okay. I'll got it. it. I'll and take she, more money. And she in, yeah. said, I, and Fable was saying like in her head, she's like, I hope Clove takes it because if Clove doesn't take it, she's going to get somebody else to do it. And you know, she'd rather have Clove warn my father because she knows mm -hmm. Clove is working for her father right now. So, so yeah. Yeah. So anyways, and Clove's like, yeah, I'll take the money like too. And, and then I'll screw you over. Like, of yeah. course I'm not going to, but yeah. So then it gets back, they get back to, they get back to uh, the Marigold and stuff and West finds out. Or it could have been right before they got to the Marigold. He finds out that uh, Fable went and made this deal. And yeah, it was before they went back to the ship. He, they were in the room. Yeah. And he was mad. And he's like, and he says, like, when you made that deal, you made it for the both of us. And she's like, no, I will do it. You go. I will finish this. And I will meet you in the Narrows. And he was like, no, I'm not leaving here without you. And he couldn't believe because he worked for Saint for so long. And he knows Saint, obviously. But he was like, that 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 man has kept me and my crew. They've given them hell, basically, yes. for and he's the like, last what are you few thinking? years. Why are you doing this for Saint? He left you on that island. He did this, this, and that. But, you know, 
that's his daughter. That's her father. They're and like, his and daughter. she and she understands yeah. that she gets it because she has been like she, she felt dealt left. wrong. But she just is also like, yeah, it's her father, and she's like, I can't lose him. She says, she's I, like, you won't understand. No, she says, even if I don't like this fact, she's like, losing him, I'll lose a part of myself. So she says, I don't, I don't want to lose him. I can't lose him. So she made this deal. And, and we find this decision has basically when it gets back to, and West is always really good at everyone votes and they make a decision with his crew oh, yeah. and he goes back and he's like, nope, get ready. We're leaving. And they're like, we're not going to vote. Nope. We're going to the unnamed sea. We're going to go dredging. We're going to do it. We have this many days. They then this creates so much tension and with Fable, West yeah. and Fable, West with his crew, his the crew with Fable. Like everyone's mad except for Oster. He's mad and he says, "I." He goes, "No, no, no! Don't get me wrong. I am mad." He's like, "I don't like this, but I would do the same thing for for Posh." And he's like, "So I get it." And he's like, "I would do the exact same thing." So he uh, he could understand that. So he never let his relationship really be affected between. Fable especially, and him like Willa. Willa was is not having it. So upset, she is just like you know. You're. She basically tells her at one point, "You're selfish. Like we're always doing what you want to do." And Fable, though, Fable is like I, I, and she kept telling Wes, like even in front of the crew, she's like, yeah. "No, no, like I don't want this. I'll do it myself. I. That was not the plan to have you guys come with me, but Wes will not leave her. No, yeah. To, He's like, it's not happening. So he kind of he's like, and he and he drama. also tells her at some point like I just can't lose you. No, I don't. It's not happening. And and it, Clove was gonna come with, and they're looking at Clove like. You and Clove is Solo's kind of crew. enjoying the drama. <laughs> too. Yeah, Clove's like, oh, you know, and he's just she describes him as this like big giant. Yeah. And yeah, so and they only have so many days because they have to meet at, and I cannot say this little port sag. Staying at home or something Sad, like that. Yeah. Um, they only have so many days before the big council meets. And and that's where they're going to take care of Saint because they know he's going to be there. Yes. And so they have to go dredge. I think they have like seven days total. To go find the midnight. To go there to find the midnight to get back. And where is it they're going to? The unnamed sea. Yeah, but what? And they have different locations near Bestane and like. And then we did find out when Holland was talking to fable she said do you know where you got your name from and there's and she says your her mother i guess used to always just like take off for like a whole day at a time they never knew where she were and took two years for her parents to find out that she would always escape to this little like i don't know if it was necessarily an island but a part of the island called fable scary or scurry scary scurry scurry sorry and that's where her mother would go a lot so she's like you got you know, your name from there. She, that was like her she place that figure she, that's where she got her name from because it's stable. Yeah. And you know, that was like her mom's like little sanctuary. And so they're going to the unnamed sea. They have different, I can't remember all the little locations, but they have like, I want to say there was like 12 locations that they were going to be dredging. I can't remember the name, but I think the second part of it was like constellation or something. Oh yeah. Yuna's, con Uni's, yeah, Uni's Yuna. constellation. You're right. Yeah. That's, that's right. where, they were going Where to. Where Fable's like, that's where it has to be, you know, so. And she, they, and like, kind of pulled up all these things and, like, okay, we're going to hit here, 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 here. Yeah. yeah. And Clove, um, we've come to find out that Fable sent Clove to go find Koi. Yeah. She's, she's like, like, I, need, I, need, I need the best of the best. Yeah. And that and didn't make Willa or the crew happy. No, They're like, oh, wait, so now person. we're going to be bringing But Koi, Koi held his own on this shit. And I kind of like, liked it. Like, you could tell, like, I was totally getting the vibe between Willa and Koi. Like, she's always so mean to him. And he would tell people, like, I think she I likes me. I think she me. likes me. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, aren't you going to help? <laughs> Willa was saying to Koi, aren't you going to help? He's, He's like, like, you like, want to pay me more for it? Yeah. He's just sitting there watching. Like, you want to pay me more for being more than just a dredger. He was not. They knew they couldn't couldn't do anything with Koi. They were like, just leave him alone. So, you know. So, and yeah, so they start to go to the name C and it's Koi, West, and Fable that start to dredge. And, you know, they're not really finding what they need to. They're spending all this time. They hit this hor horrendous storm. Then they're on their last day and she realizes, oh, I wonder if we should try Fable Scurry. Scurry? 
and so furry. And they go head over there, but still she doesn't find anything. And it, it was kind of like a failed mission. She, and she was really like kind of bummed. So then that made the crew even more mad. They yeah, were like, oh, of course, here we go so again. So this is all for nothing. But at this time, at least West and Fable's relationship is kind of oh. mending. And he like grabs her hand and yes. they go water. And, and also before they left to go on this mission to find the midnight, remember Holland came to the dock and she took, oh, she took yes, the deed big, of the marriage. That was like a big point. For, and that yeah. just threw the crew like, I'm yes, so done. Now they're, like, this so, is. Because she said, how can I trust you? That when you get the midnight, you're going to give it to me. I need the deed. And Fable's like, don't do it. But West was like, here. I gave it right to her. And, and he's like, like we're going we're gonna to do this. So, yeah, so they're not really happy. Then that kind of put more distance between Fable and him, or, and Fable and West as well, because he's a little, like, he's mad. But he also tells her, I can't lose you. So he's going to do it. But, yeah. You guys, it's just so good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so they're dredging, and at one point he, like, grabs her hand, and it was finally, they're, like, they're in their water, and, like, they kind of give that look, and, like, they're, like, okay. And from then on, at least they're getting along, and they're working together, and they're... It's not great, probably yet, but it's good for them. And anyways, they come up empty-handed. They hit the storm. They don't find the midnight, and they have to start getting back over to this the council. Like they have to go to this. Because her father's gonna be there, and she's and this is a big thing. And Holland's gonna be there. Everyone's gonna be there. So they go over there, and basically she tells them like, I we didn't we didn't get it. And so then Holland wants to strike up another deal. Like, fine, you come crew for me for two years and I'll give the marigold the, like give the deed to the mail or the deed back. And, but you are going to be working for me. And Wes is like, no, but she's like, I'm going to do it. Like, I'll meet you in two years. Like I got to do this. Like, I'm not going to let like, you lose the give boat. Me two years. He's like, I can't be without you. And she's like, give me two years and then I'll be with you. you know, and she's like, I'm not going to lose the boat. And they did make a deal to um, when they were, um, I think it was in Bestain with Roth. We find a little more of another oh, character mm -hmm. with that was related the to Oster. And his name is Zara. Yes, and they wanted the um, oh gosh, the the ring. The, uh, the did they have a name for the ring? The merchants. The yes, merchant the ring merchant ring. That is like a it's a big thing to have. Yes. And so they're, you know, they're kind of like, okay, we'll make this deal with you if you come and through for us. And she tells Clove, go tell my father to get this ring. <laughs> like, cause if anybody can do it, Saint can get it. Yes. Uh, yeah. So. so they're trying, they have their little things that they're doing as backup just in case they need it, this and that. So West is like, no, you're not going to be doing this for Holland. There's no way. And she's like, I am. I'm going to do it. And you're going to do what is right and what you need to do for this ship. Well... He then leaves, makes his own deal with Holland that he says he, when Fable's sleeping, he is going to be working for her for the two years. So Wes so gets the deed back. Wes makes the deal. He gives the, they sign over the Marigold to Fable. So Fable's name is now, she's the owner of the Marigold. And Wes. We'll do the two years. We'll do the two years. So Fable will take the ship and the But crew unbeknownst to Fable. She also, she find no, she just is finding yeah. this out and she makes her own deal that she's going to have to be there with him. And so when he finds out, she's like, well, I'm going to be with you anyway, yeah. because I signed my stuff away too. So we're going to be for two years going to be working for Holland. And that's like discouraging to everyone. And that's and why Fable's like, we need to be honest with each other because look what happened. You know, like, yeah. we made this deal without knowing what the other one did and now we're stuck in this position and she goes and she does see her father and she thought Clove would be bringing the ring, but she does see her father on the side oh. and he gives her the ring and, and you She's know, they, like, how did you get it? And he goes, I can get anything. Yeah. <laughs> I love him. And uh, I just love his like personality and like, he's like, what are you thinking? Of course I got yeah. it. Um, and you know, they talk a couple minutes and this and that, and he says, okay, I'll see you at the, the, the meeting coming up. And they kind of separate and stuff with them being it's cute little moment with each other as well. Like it's not like a bad moment. It was a really no. cute moment. But anyways, they um, end up going to this this meeting and they're looking and everyone's there but Saint. And she's her. She's getting nervous. She's like, where is he? Like, did, did Holland, did Holland get him? do something? Is he him? not just going to show mm -hmm. up? Is he playing one of his games again and he's not going to show up? And he's going to leave me here, you know, to fend for myself. 
Yeah, that was ner that she was very nervous, yeah. and she kept looking around. And she said that even uh, West was starting to look around too, kind of like, okay, what's going on? And she's like, oh, just like I I don't know what's going on here. There's something up, and I she didn't like it. And anyways, Holland gets up, and she's basically, I want to, you know, I I want license mm -hmm. to do this, this, and this. And they're like, what? Like the the council's like, no, no, no. Yeah, it's not you that already easy. asked us this for how many years, and we keep the same answers. It's going to be the same answer, no. And she's like, but I have this. Yes, Zola's I have gone. something that I can. Yeah, Zola was gone. Saints a no show, and she's like, and my granddaughter will run it. Who is from the Narrows? So she knows it's not from Bastain and, you know, it's something different. It's not just all me, but she's from the narrow. She's one of you guys. She can do it. And so right as they were probably about to pass this, Saint walks in. And, and the last minute when, when Fable's about to accept, because she's like, what am I going to do? I have to. Yeah, she's kind of stuck. And she says she goes to open her mouth and all of a sudden the doors swing open and there's Saint, his blue coat. There he is. And yes. she's like, like she's I mean, what like, a way to make an entrance. Yeah. She's just like, oh my gosh, you know. So, and, oh, and then he, he comes down. in and yeah, and oh, this is just, I think one of my most favorite little parts of the book. It was just so I was like smiling thinking about it. I know. So he comes in and he says that he has his own stuff that he would like to talk about. And he basically like says, I want you guys to know what happened to Zola, that he was murdered, um, that by Holland, by Holland, that Holland is actually making uh, fake gems. So then the the one the one lady's like, give me give me the the gem light. I yeah. need to I need to look at these. Finds out they were fake. And Holland's like, wait, what? What? Like, oh my gosh. And they're like, well, we're gonna have to reconvene like later. Well, and Saints like, I have a witness. And here comes Clove. And he yes, because like, Clove was working with Zola. And yeah, and they that. were there yeah. when, like, when she killed Zola. Oh, so, and so smart. Clove was like, yep, yeah, she killed him right in front and of then, me. And then and uh, then Fable says I was there too. Yeah, and Fable speaks up, and then that's when they're like, oh, you know. Mm -hmm. so, they said if we don't find Zola. And then before, um, before the day is over, yes, you're done. So, and they said, and the, and she, she sunk the, the, the Luna. Yep. And so they're like, okay. So they're like, well, we're going to have to come back and meet later. And he's like, well, no, you haven't even listened to what I have to say. And that, oh gosh, this is just so cute. I just loved it. I think I sat there with like, it's just know, huge old smile. Is. Like, oh. And he basically, um, not in these words, says that he would like to propose for Fable to run her ship on the Marigold and to start doing like the trading with basically what they wanted to do. And, but he says, my daughter. My daughter. And she just starts. She said, and this was the thing I think was the most so special. Like she said, it was just her and Saint in that room. Everything faded away. She said she couldn't control any of her tears. Mm -hmm. She just started crying. It was just them two looking at each other. And she just said it was, oh, oh my God. I think I even cutest. got teary at that point. I was like, oh. I wish I would cry. I don't. I, so. got, I, I didn't. didn't cry, but I was like, I was oh like, my gosh. Yeah. And, but she said, he claimed me. If and that was everybody. the most important thing. Ever, that he claimed her and it, she said it, it how they she described it was just them two in the room until like a noise like and she says like, she's never heard him say my daughter so my daughter he's never even her. said like anything of love I love you anything yeah. and it was just like the oh my god it was the cutest so moment. they agreed you know to all of that the council. Then, so then she talks to Saint later a couple of days later or the next day probably they go and meet at their little a little tea shop. They like to do that and have their drink. And oh my gosh, the things, oh, it was just so sweet. He just says to her basically, like he wanted to explain. He's like, it wasn't that I didn't love you. And she's like, no, she's like, you don't have to stop, do stop. And he's like, no, I have to. And he basically is, tells her, he's like, when you were born, I loved you more than anything in this world, even more than he's old. And I still love you more and than And I still anything. more than love you and than more than anything. He goes, I would walk away from my ship. I would walk away actually, from Clove, everything. And actually, Clove told her that earlier in he the did. book. He said, he goes, you really think that your father would leave you to fend for yourself? He goes, he's always taking care of you. 
And she, and he, and he did. And when she was on the island of Jalal for four years, he was sending Saint, or sorry, West there to yeah, make sure she yeah, was yeah, fed. Yeah. So he was keeping tabs on Fable. Yes. And he goes, you know, he loves you. He would give up everything for you, he, Fable. But yes. she didn't really like, she took it and she was like, oh, but it's I like, she, I think she really believed be- it. I think yet. she believed it, but didn't want to believe it. Like, no. No, you're, you're, you know. And Clove's like, no, he would give up everything for you. And when Saint says this to her, he's like, the reason I left you on that island island is because I loved you more than anything in this world even more than Isolde because he knew Holland would try to get her and that's why Isolde left so you know he he didn't want her to be in that world so yeah he it was in a cruel I mean wasn't cruelly done but leaving her by herself I think he realized he he says to her he didn't know how he did not know how he lost Isolde he said because she was there with him one minute and the next minute she was gone. And I think that was a like shock a big that, wave came and that her. he couldn't take care of her like he wanted to. He thought he could. And, you know, that was a big thing that it was like she even asked, she tells West that, you know, her father alludes to that he almost hated that he loved his old saint, almost hated that he loved his old because it puts more things in jeopardy and in danger and you you make decisions you, you shouldn't and he realized he couldn't protect her and i think he realized i love fable more than i loved even he's old it's his i i can't do this everything. for her she needs to be gone and we kind of find out a little bit too he wanted uh fable on zola's ship too because he wanted holland to take her not that he liked holland but because he wanted her to be safe and he was hoping that then this would get her out of west because he didn't well, and he knew about West and what he's done for him, but it's like he didn't trust him West completely. West is an assassin, basically, so he knows West. Yeah, and so he, he didn't, didn't want, want Fable. Fable tied up with that. He wanted her safe, but I think he was starting to see that, that first of all, that's not what Fable wanted, and she wanted to live this life, and he was accepting it, and he basically was okay with this. And then he gives her her mother's necklace. And, dragon. Mm-hmm. and so basically it ends just so sweet. They're obviously going to keep a relationship. They still see each other. Because I'll see you. I'll see you in Saros. Yeah. I'll see you there. Because her home. And she like, oh. said many times, because she even says West is her home. Yeah. She loves the West. Marigold, West. West and the Marigold are what she wants. Oh, and we come to find out too, Willa, before we get to the end, Willa told West that she wanted she's off out. the ship. She's leaving. So yeah, so she's done. And, um, side note guys. Like, yeah. So she, and, and Wes was shocked with that news, yeah. but Fable knew from, um, before that that's what Willa wanted. And, but Willa was just so upset. So it was like a perfect time for her to say something. Cause she was so mad with everything going on that she's like, and I'm off, I'm done. And anyways, so, um, she gets the necklace and they're going on with their life and the, you know, they're on the ship and, she they I think they started dredging again and then she all of a sudden thinks about the necklace and how like Saint wouldn't just give her the necklace without it being some clue and the necklace always sang to her and she's realizing when she would be hit, like when she jumped in the water at Fable Scurry that the the things singing to her she thought it was she felt her mother more than anything and I think she started to realize I don't think it was my mother I think it was the midnight, necklace yeah. the midnight and she cracks the necklace open and finds out that it was the midnight. Her mom has had this necklace this whole time, which was in the hands of Saint. Saint went back after the, uh, that the lark uh, sunk to the Tempest Snare to go retrieve this necklace. And he's held on to this this whole time. And he knew if anyone, because when you're a gem sage, the, the gems sing to you that out of anyone, she would be able to find the midnight. And she would be able to just have this really successful career. And so, and it was a hint. He never told her what it was, but she discovered it. And her and Wes go. Well, and she asked her father, do you know where the midnight is? And he's like, no, I made your mother promise me never to tell me. Because he didn't want to be greedy. Like, I don't want he to didn't know. Want to, yeah. want to know. So he's like, I seriously he, don't know. Because he even said, like, if I knew... Yeah, he then might. he knew he, he might be away from it for a little bit, but he would eventually go there for himself to be greedy. And but it ended up being even cuter because then his daughter got he gave it to his daughter. And so her and Wes go back and she's like, it has to be here. And they end up finding the this midnight. Cave, it was like this and big it's full cave. of it. Full of oh. it. That they could totally make this great life. And she said, I say we leave it here for now. Like my mother did. We like my mother did. We have enough right now to do it. We need to start our own like business and trading and this and that. And when we need it, we'll come back for it. 
and they both agree with it and yeah. they move on and it kind of has an epilogue that like you know that she's seen saint and she tells him certain things and he's like you're doing what and this and well, that yeah, they and made like, up they they decide to go to javal and javal's like this like oh yeah for the port and that island. was koi's idea yeah and, and she liked and it and her yeah. father like she even mentions like oh my father even sneered at it you're gonna make a port at javal and it ended up being successful. So yeah, it and being Koi successful. runs it, and then Willa is there. So I was like, okay, that's cute. And then it was cute because then we know West in Fable, he would always leave so early. He would go through yes, storms. Yes, it was almost like mimicking this, and I love that about he it. He would go through storms. Every just two to weeks, get he would be in Javal. To Fable in the first book. And now he's doing the same Fable thing says, to make sure Willa. Fable, sa- Fable says, we went through a store, or like, you know, now we're, he has to be there because he wants to a go week see. early because he wants to go see Willa. Willa. So and Willa says right away, did you just go through that storm to get here or whatever? He's like, so he's doing the same thing. And then there's Koi. So that did those little suspicions that you know that they're gonna probably you know yeah 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 she's running like a repair on the on Jabal. through koi koi asked her through to do koi, it yeah so and she in fable mentions like they look good together like so we don't really know if they're together i think they are or they're eventually or they're together. getting there yeah yeah she says they look like they belong there so oh, guys such a good book it was like so i i and loved it, it. i was so them, sad it was it ended. yes and it ended with them on the on Javal. Just lying on the beach in the water, just hitting their feet. And they're Her just so uh, happy. West. Yeah. yeah, just happy and just, like, all the unresolved issues were gone. Just, like, everything off their shoulder. They made this life that they wanted out of everyone's, you know, she because West and, and, and Fable were not under Saint anymore. And it just ended just, oh, it was so good. I didn't want it to end. I was so sad when it did end. It was just so good. It was just amazing. I'm hoping Adrian Young will maybe write a spinoff. You have maybe a fan in us, Adrian Young. Maybe, because I loved Saint so much. That's what we were talking about. I love Saint and Fable's relationship. Or like a uh, Saint and he's old relationship. That, really so cool. I was like, like how he's old got off the island. And... Yeah, maybe she'll do like a prequel of like, oh. Saint and his old and Zola and Holland will be in it. Clove and then Fable's and... born. Like, oh, I love it. So uh-huh. Adrian Young, please. Loved it, loved it. And I, this is an a love story beyond just your typical man and girl. There is that, but it's of a father and daughter. And I Ugh. just, it's their true love story. And I loved it. It was so good. Anyways, guys, I know this is a longer video. We just loved uh, it so much. We had to keep going. <laughs> we did. We did. We loved it. We love you, Fable and Namesake and Adrian. Read it. Read it, read it. Go read it. And go ahead and hit subscribe and like our, our, our video. <laughs> Thanks.